KHO and 2 weather, Kamaka Pili. I hope you enjoyed the dry conditions as we've been having them because things are going to be changing. Looking at our daily planner for our friends and family in Moloka'i, we're seeing up to a 100% chance of rain throughout the day. And as we get here to Oahu, those numbers are going to start to be similar once we get through around tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow morning may not be so wet as we are seeing in Moloka'i. Even tonight's a, a quiet evening outside, but things are going to be changing with a bunch of advisories and warnings. That flash flood watch again in effect for all islands, including Hawaii Island, which may see the least impact of this system. All of that till Tuesday. Wind advisory up until Tuesday. High surf advisory along with that small craft advisory and a gale warning. Now all of this has to do with the remnants of Linda and that's bumping up the east facing shores up to 12 footers by tomorrow morning and that slowly would then be tapering down around up to 10 footers by tomorrow evening. Again that high surf advisory at least until Monday. Now looking at this we're really taking an eye as mentioned before uh, taking a look at the eye of this system or what would be the the center of this system. There really is no clear eye. Again, this is just a remnant low, but what we're looking in terms of the timeline, we're going to be expecting this middle of this system to reach Maui by midnight tonight and sweeping over Maui County, reaching the west side of Moloka'i and Lana'i by tomorrow morning. And that's where here on Oahu, things will really start to de deteriorate. It's the winds, the moisture within this system, and the engagement with the terrain that will really start to increase the impacts. Then that's going to be moving towards the west of Oahu by Monday afternoon and then beneath Kauai and Niihau by Monday evening. Now in terms of the impacts, Maui County, the greatest, oh you're going to start to see relief starting tomorrow morning here on Oahu. It's going to really start to increase throughout the day but slowly start to see some relief starting tomorrow evening and friends and family on Kauai could start to see relief Tuesday morning but there will be some moisture that's going to be lingering so you may start to see more drier conditions return by Tuesday evening. Here's that future radar. We are seeing that move over Maui County and engaging with that terrain that could be increasing those impacts. Again, flash flood watch in effect and those downpours could significantly uh, impact our morning drive tomorrow morning. So make sure when we wake up, you're expecting to deal with some extra traffic and pack some extra aloha because we may just need that throughout the day tomorrow as we get out of this system. In terms of the winds, we're going to be seeing those winds, especially for the islands behind this system, more of that southerly winds. We are expecting more easterly winds that we typically deal with. That's going to be returning around on Tuesday, that's when we're going to see that muggy meter start to come back down and bring back some relief because we are expecting tomorrow to be quite humid despite it being windy with those gusts. On Tuesday, again, mainly going to be Kauai. Widespread dry conditions look to return Wednesday throughout the rest of the week into the weekend, really just focusing back on windward showers. Have a blessed week, everybody. Sam, back to you.